In tonight's Fox Fitness, a local mom turns to alternative medicine to make her kids better. Not everyone turns to traditional medical practices when it comes to curing what ails you. Turning to an alternative medicine is a growing trend, and even parents locally now looking for options outside of traditional medicine. Tammy Scardino is on your side with the story. You've probably seen those little bottles of essential oils. But do a few drops actually combat a headache, cough, or upset stomach? I do have an appreciation for traditional medicine. Like, it has its place. I appreciate it. I love it. I love what it does for people. It saves lives. But we really need the pendulum to swing more so that we're utilizing both methods. Dana Vineyard, a registered nurse and doTERRA wellness advocate, turned to essential oils when her now five-year-old twins were two. It's really hard as a parent to watch your children be miserable and not have anything to give them. I can't give them Sudafed, I can't give them NyQuil, I can't give them Delsum, I can't give them any of that. It's not, it's not FDA approved at all. You can breathe in the oils, place them on areas of your body to kill pain or ingest them. Vineyard warns to seek guidance when swallowing essential oils in capsule form. And she also advises people to be wary of purchasing an oil that states it's for external use only. And this is the carrier oil to just dilute it down. The alternative seems to be working for her family. My children are hardly ever sick anymore, and when they are, it's, it's so mild. Alternative medicines at work in the valley don't stop there. Acupuncture is a key component in traditional Chinese medicine. It involves the insertion of hair-thin needles through your skin at strategic points on your body. Licensed professionals at the Boise Acupuncture Cooperative offer the treatment on a sliding fee basis. Customers basically get to choose how much they pay within the offered range. We'll listen to their story, we'll take a pretty intensive intake health history, and then we check the pulse, and then we put in several needles to help sort of bring their body back to balance. The acupuncturists say it doesn't hurt and can actually do the opposite, relieve pain. Supporters say acupuncture may also work on those with digestive issues, infertility, PTSD, and depression. It's really, um, truly a holistic medicine. It treats the whole body, mind, spirit. Tammy Scordino, Idaho on your side. I've always wanted to try acupuncture. Yeah? Yeah, it's been around for centuries, so. Well, Scott Dorvell had some essential oils out the other night because he had a headache, and all of a sudden I thought, what is smelling like peppermint? And Truly. It was Scott. Experts say no matter what kind of medicines you decide to use, it's always important to do your homework before you try yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. For more information on the treatments in our story, go to IdahoOnYourSide.com.